Number 15. Indicate the most important type of intermolecular attraction responsible for salvation in each of the following solutions. And then we have O2, uh, which is in liquid form, which is in N2, which is also in a liquid form. Now, salvation is basically just talking about when the solvent is able to dissolve the solute. So if you have a compound that is in another compound, the first one is always going to be your solute, and what you're dissolving it in is going to be your solvent. Now, when the solute and the solvent, so when O2 and N2 are now together, they can communicate with each other, right? And they can form attractions. And these are called intermolecular attractions, intermolecular forces as well. We want to know the specific most important type of intermolecular force when O2 is being dissolved in N2 and they're communicating with each other. Now, the most important force or the most important type is always going to be the strongest attraction that is common between them. So it's the strongest attraction between the molecules, we'll say. Now, on the bottom here, I do write down, or I did write down, um, the three tiers of intermolecular attractions or intermolecular forces. There are dispersion forces, which are the weakest. So I wrote this in a way where the weakest is on the left, and as you increase and you collect different intermolecular forces or intermolecular attractions, these would be the strongest. So hydrogen bonding is the strongest intermolecular force. Dipole-dipole is in the middle. So now, the first thing we have to figure out is, well, in order to find out, you know, what forces or intermolecular forces you have, you have to know what molecules you're working with, whether they are nonpolar or polar. And this comes from just drawing the Lewis structure. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just draw out what O2 looks like, right? This is an oxygen that has a double bond in the middle, surrounded by the two dots. And if you're saying to yourself, well, wait, how'd you get that? There's tons of videos on the uh, channel just designated to teaching you step-by-step -step to draw Lua structures. So I go every step of the way there for you guys. Uh, this one is kind of like a quick inversion because um, we're learning something new here. But just know that uh, oxygen has six valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the two bonds come together. Now for N2, you need a triple bond between them because nitrogen only has five valence electrons. So maybe I'll just put them one, two, one, two, and there we go. So what types of molecules are these? If they are nonpolar, that means that they are symmetrical. And clearly, if I just draw a line down the middle, I got one oxygen on the left, one oxygen on the right. It's purely symmetrical, so this would be nonpolar. Same thing with N2. If I draw this right down the middle, we have a nitrogen on the left and a nitrogen on the right. That is purely nonpolar. Now, since we know that we only have nonpolar molecules, we can find our intermolecular attractions or forces. Now, dispersion forces, also known as London forces or Van der Waals forces, um, just know that all molecules have these. So this is like the gimme force, where it doesn't matter who you are, you will always have dispersion forces. So for O2, they got dispersion. And for N2, you got dispersion. Do they have dipole-dipole attractions? Well, only polar molecules will have these. That's why it's important to note what type of molecule you have. These are nonpolars, so these do not have dipole-dipole attractions. So I go on to the next one. Does it have hydrogen bonding? Well, in the term, right, hydrogen, you got to have at least a hydrogen somewhere attached to your molecule. Right? It's just being specific. It's got to be with the nitrogen and oxygen or with the fluorine. But in both of these, I don't even have any hydrogens. 
So, no hydrogen bonding for both of these. We've exhausted all of the intermolecular forces, and the most important one is the strongest attraction between the molecules that have to match. These only have dispersion forces. So, since they have no other attraction that's stronger, the, uh, the most important type would be the dispersion force. So, there it is. Maybe I'll just say dispersion force. Right? Maybe we'll make it plural. <laughs> but anyway, that is the answer. What'd you think? I hope this helped you out. Uh, let me know in the comments. I love talking to you guys. I try to get back to you as, as many as I can. Um, thank you for being a part of the community. And I'm, I'm really glad that these, these uh, problems are helping you out. There's tons more videos. We got a whole chem course on the channel. So, you know, follow with the video step by step. I'm here every step of the way for you guys. I want you guys to do well on your tests and quizzes. And good luck to you, okay? I'm rooting for you. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.